I'm still a little upset, but I'm not. You know, I just got a major confirmation about everything that I was saying during the reading. So I'm going to do the reading over and I'm going to do the do the spread, you know, in a, in the a usual way, per usual, and we'll see if the same messages come back to me. So because if they're genuine and they're real, that's what it happened, correct? So we're gonna see where this goes. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, give me the messages that the collective needs to know. What is it that divine feminine need to know? Look. You are one of the kindness here, okay? You have, you are one of a kind, divine feminine. I'm going to do that because I'm going to cut the deck. All right? Well, let's see. What are the messages, spirit? What is it that the collective needs to know? What were the messages from the reading that I deleted <laughs> that the collective needs to know? Look, the way we met was unreal. So someone wants you to know that you are one of a kind and the way that you guys met was unreal. Okay, you guys could have met, met at the eyes. I heard, I, I'm hearing meet, a meeting at the eyes. You guys could have met at each other's eyes, okay? And it was unreal to you and his person because neither one of you guys have ever experienced that before. It was 155. Neither one of you guys have uh, experienced that before with anyone when you meet at the eyes, okay? You know, the eyes is the, can tell the depths of your soul, okay? What is this? Look, I care about you. No, this is different messages. I can tell you this right now. The only thing that really came out was you were one of a kind. And this, my ego and pride got the best of me. Okay, what else? So now this person wants you to know that they care about you. And the reason why I spirit is saying that the video probably cut off, cut off because it was too much for Divine Feminine at that time because Spirit had a bone to pick with the Divine Feminines. I'm here. <laughs> Look, too many responsibilities. And yes, that came out as well. Okay, let's see. What else? What else, Spirit? Let's see if I can recollect this reading that I really wanted the collector to hear because I was going in. Okay, what else? Yes, if it's meant to be, it'll be. Okay, and that's you, collector, telling this to this person again. Okay, what else, spirit? What? So I feel like, you know. You are one of a kind. Your person feel like you are one of a kind in the way you guys met at the eyes was unreal. And this person care about you. This person actually cared about you since and from the time they first met you. Okay. And always thought that you were unique and always thought that you were one of a kind. And your person is saying that they pride and ego got the best of them. And I'm seeing too many responsibilities here. And I'm seeing if it's meant to be, it'll be. So maybe that's you collective saying that this person then prioritized you in their life they had too many responsibilities they was taking up other obligations and putting other things before you and he wasn't really like zoned in and and focused on the relationship like you were okay and with that being said you know this person hurt you okay but this person is still trying to come in and tell you that you are one of a kind and that they care about you but you're saying if it's meant to be it'll be like it's totally up to the divine if i can even take what you're saying into consideration of course i hear you but at the end of the day you know um faith without works is dead so if i believe like my angel said like your angels told you if you believe and if you believe that this union will be if it's meant to be it'll be then that'll be that you guys it's like um you felt like this person didn't didn't have you as one of their top priorities or obligation this person put many things before you and many people before you and you felt like this person was just juggling too many responsibilities and the and this person is 
expressing to you that the ego and pride has got the best of them. It did get the best of them. And that's the reason why they were possibly juggling you. Because they dropped the ball. Okay? What else, Spirit? Clarify you are one of a kind for the collective. What is this? You are one of a kind. What is this person saying to the divine feminine tonight? Our union will happen this lifetime. You are one of a kind is clarified with our union will happen this lifetime. And with our spirit, with other messages. Thank you. Look, the way we met is unreal and we have the third party in the reverse again. It keeps coming out in, a, in the reverse, you guys. And maybe this person, that's the reason why um, this person is saying that their ego and pride got the best of them. So, no, I take that back. My ego and pride got the best of me. Is clarifying this third party in the reverse. Okay. What is this? The way we met was unreal. This person just wanted to let you know early that they want to come around now and take the lead. This is what I'm hearing now because I see the word pride here. And when I think of pride, I think of Leo. So, your person could even be a Leo or have fire. Um, fire placements um heavy in the chart okay so when i think of pride i think of a lion like this person is ready to step up and take the leadership role like this is your reading divine feminine okay because i'm trying to recollect everything that took place because i feel like it was important for you guys to know and it was my fault that i got rid of the read so i have to brainstorm and get this message out to you guys because i feel like it's important it's important to me okay because it was informative information that you guys needed to hear so your person is now in this call hit the floor okay your person is now trying to step up and and take the lead now your person want to be a leader your person want to show leadership and show you that they can indeed come in and step up to the plate and be the man that you want them to be but this person also feel that on the flip side in the words of my great great lovely bishop td jakes you cut off you cut this person ill off and what uh, he was explaining in that sermon is you basically cut when when you cut this person ill off and, and, and because this person ego and pride got the best of them it's like you you cut off the supply for this person's change if i'm making sense like by you just being upset and being angry and cut this person off you cut this person off and to sum it up what i feel like bishop was saying that he, this person pride and ego really got the best of them when you cut them off and he just went haywire because it's like if you cut me off and you I, I don't have you for a listening ear to be able to forgive me for my sin, then I'm trying to think of what exactly what he said, you guys. Because it was informative to me. Yeah, he was basically saying that if you if you cut this person off by the ear, then this person can't answer the call. And you cut off you you if you cut him off by the ear, then he can't answer the call to change. So this person will be stuck in a spiraling, out of control type of livelihood type situation. If I'm making sense to you guys, right? This person um feels like you know you cut them off by the ear some of you guys don't even want to hear what this person have to say some of you guys feel like you don't need an apology but at the end of the day how can this person get forgiven for their sin if you're not even trying to hear them out and that's the reason why this person is letting you know that their pride and ego got the best of them and this person is now trying to come in step up do something different because this person probably was never take charge 
type of person. You know, some of you guys could feel like your person was in coward energy because they never stood up for you. They never, they never stepped up to the plate and spoke up for you all as a whole to no one. This person was passive with everyone, okay? And while this person was being passive with everyone, this person was losing you. You were slipping away. And you slipped away emotionally first, I'm hearing, then physically. And I also heard that this person wanted to leave you before you left them. And that's a part of their pride and ego. But what this person don't know is by the time that, you know, they were ready to walk away from you before you leave them that you were already gone emotionally and you was ready for this person to walk away because it wasn't benefiting you it was a one-sided relationship and a one-sided situation you were the one always putting in all the work you were the one always trying to um make things right between you guys because this person was running after other things and fulfilling other people's fantasies trying to hurt you just being very very immature like extremely childish and immature okay and not, what my pride and ego got the best of me this is what this person really want to tell you but you cut them off by the ear so they can't answer the call so it's like you're not forgiving this person for which they have sinned you know but you want god to forgive you right that's how i understood my bishop and that's the truth but understand that i'm me and my bishop, we think alike so much to where I lost my video this morning. And I just clicked on this sermon tonight just to get the word of God in my system, right? And and uh, he had already recorded what I recorded today, three days ago. But we were basically talking about the same thing, gratification, right? So since... Your person was in their ego and pride and did all kind of things to hurt you with a third party. Now they lost this third party because the third party card is in the reverse. Or this person walked away from this third party. And when we have filled with the hell, and that's you, collect up. And that was the first card came out yesterday in the spread. What the hell mean? Like, what the hell did you get us into? Now you saying that our union and happiness is you, but really and truly, you don't really hear this person because you cut off the supply to even telepathically communicating with this person or anything look yes and look this person feel like you abandoned them and this clarifies if it's meant to be it'll be and what the hell this person feel abandoned what else spirit or you you feel abandoned you saying what the hell because there was you saying what the hell or this could be you, your person you guys go talk alike think alike you know you guys could say some of the same slogans and both you guys are feeling the same way both you guys are in the same energy you both you guys are feeling like if it's meant to be it'll be and both you guys are feeling abandoned and both you guys are like what the hell look and spiritual spiritual growth okay this person feel like like they care about you and this person feel like you have spiritually grown and this person feel abandoned because now they feel like you are way up there and they way down here because you left them on a spiritual level like you passed them up on a spiritual level and not saying that your person is not is not spiritual but your 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 person look at my my fridge cut off your person felt at its best and more grounded in their spirituality when they were with you even if they was pretending but they really was not pretending okay and look we have here ain't nobody coming to see you oldies okay and that fell right under my pride and ego got the best of me in a third party and then in the reverse and then ain't nobody coming to see you oldies yeah this person wants you to know they stepping up to the plate now they taking the lead telling you that you know my partner ego got the best of me i had too many responsibilities i was dealing with a third party um situation and um i know that you were one of a kind the way we met was unreal but you know i messed up i dropped the ball spirit what is this third party card look and then we yeah, have, before I ask that, this already came out. Please save a spot for me. Your heart and that clarifies that I, you are one of a kind. Are you in a happiness lifetime? Please save a spot for me in your heart. Yes, this person don't want you to leave. Or when I ask spirits to clarify the third party in the reverse, it was saying that, please 
save a spot for me and your horse. So Spirit said, yes, it do clarify as a third party card. Okay, it, it fit both. It fit both scenarios. Okay, it is um clarifying a third party card in the reverse. Please save a spot for me and your heart because your person is saying anybody coming to see you old is like the only reason why I really want this fall and got in is deep too deep with you is because um is because of my ego and pride. What else, spirit? What else is this? What else is this third party in the reverse? Thank you. Look, and your person is saying our separation still affects me. Okay, so the way we met is was unreal, and our separation still affects me. So yeah, you are not with this person right now because you know this person had a third party. You know this person was playing games with you. What is this? Yeah, look, and this person feel like you're their life partner. Okay, our separation still affects me, and you are my life partner. Okay, yes. What is this? Thank you. Look, get your shit and get out. Yeah, so this person felt like the way that, you know, y'all met was unreal. The separation still affects them. You are the life partner and they're afraid that you're going to tell them to get this shit and get out. Why, spirit? Why is this person afraid that the collective is going to tell them to get this shit and get out? Why is this, why is this person afraid? The last time we was together. So maybe the last time you guys was together, you possibly told this person, uh, get your shit and get out. Or the last time you guys was together, this person was very disrespectful towards you because they were healing from this third party situation that's now in the in the reverse. Okay. What else, Spirit? What else? Yes, thank you. Look, yeah. And the last time you were together, your person said no, the last time we were together, I didn't know what to say. This person didn't know how to tell you that they were being a player player from the Himalayas, okay? They didn't know how to tell you that they were being a player and they had a third party situation going on. But now this person is breaking free from these um, third parties, okay? Because they are in the reverse, telling them ain't nobody coming to see you. They, this person is landing on thick and heavy because this person feel like they want to be with you. I, only, I almost let them destroy our connection so your person wants you to know that they they care about you and they almost let these third parties destroy your connection okay whether it's a romantic third party or just a regular third party that was intervening on you guys' union spirit what is this i almost let them destroy our connection what connection is this person speaking of and this person is now feeling abandoned by you or this person is saying that they knew they'd ab they abandoned you to be a player. Why? So what is this? I almost let them destroy the connection. Thank you. Look, this person is saying, I look at your pictures every day. And the reason why this person is saying, um, I look at your pictures every day is because this person feel like you are out of reach. You're out of touch because you spiritually grew. Because I look at your pictures every day, clarify spiritual growth. Spirit, spirit, what is this player player from the Himalayas called, huh? What is this? We understand what this person is saying, but is this person still being a player? We want to know. The collective want to know because they coming in, um, speaking this talk. We trying to see. Look, I watch you on social media. So I look at your pictures every day and I watch you on social media. Okay, so this clarifies I look at your pictures every day. I watch you on social media. Yeah, but that's not what I ask. I ask, what about this player, player from the Himalayas? Is this person still a player? Why is this person, person watching from afar? Oh, this person is watching from afar because the last time you were together, they just knew that. If they told you how they really felt that you were their life partner and they cheated and had an, a, a, another whole third party situation going on, that you would have possibly walked away from them for good. And this person saying they didn't know what to say. So what is this clear clear from the Himalayas called spirit? What is this about? Thank you. I feel guilty. You can't make this up, you guys. See, let me tell you something. And what I also get from my angel answers when they say, if you believe, that means that if you believe in your readings and in in, in practice what you preach and practice what you teach, you to, you'll be well off. Because at the end of the day, it's like, 
your angels already alert you and let you know ahead of time. And that's why I love my angel answer deck, right? It's all, this is a sidebar, but it's important for me to say, you know, uh, they said, um, if you believe, so if you believe that this is going to happen and this is what happened and change is coming, then that'll be the outcome that you get. But if you don't believe then fate without works is dead, what are you watching the videos for if you don't believe that this is true? Because the cards don't lie collective. It only pick up on energies and be able to tell you exactly what's going on. And it was just 2020. Something could have happened in 2020, you guys. And that's the reason why this person feels guilty. Okay? Look. And this person wants you to know that they are healing. Okay? Uh, you knew what happened this lifetime. You are one of a kind. But I'm healing right now. Yes, from this third party situation and be a, being a player. I almost let them destroy our connection. Or this person almost let these third parties destroy them. And then you. Okay? Because they was doing this to themselves. You were okay, collective. What else? What is this? I feel guilty. But at the end of the day, you guys have to meet this person halfway. If, if, if you want to be forgiven, you have to be... you. If you want to be forgave, you have to forgive. Okay? You have to forgive people for what they do. You guys cannot be holding no grudges and be talking about you guys are divine beings. And that's what I believe Bishop was saying when he was saying you cut them off by the ear. All of your enemies, not just your person. All of your enemies, not just your life partner. Okay? Not just someone that you're romantically with. Not just your husband or your wife. I'm letting you know this. All people, you cut them off by the ear. You, you, so so the chances of these people ever healing, if they're not hearing from you and won't be able to hear, then the chances of some of these people healing. And some of you may kill and some of you guys may not. And this can even be the other third parties that's in the reverse saying that they give up because they feel guilty now but and you like what the hell but i don't think it's that i don't think that you guys really forgave these other third party people that came in but i just heard forgive them because for they know not what they do whatever these people did to you collective the divine is on they look yeah your person saying they feel they feel i just heard played they feel played they feel used and they feel guilty because they had a sex addiction. And that's what they wanted to tell you the last time you guys were together. But they didn't know what to say. The last time they were together, you were together, they wanted to tell you about this sex addiction in this third party and how they were being a player and how guilty they feel for abandoning you. But they didn't know what to say because they knew it was going to end up to you saying, get your shit and get out. So they held it in. They didn't say anything. They, 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 they know that you spiritually grew, but they just couldn't take whatever you were going to say out of your mouth because they are in the process of trying to heal this sex addiction part about them. So this person was admiring you from afar. And this person said, I look at your pictures every day. I watch you on social media, you know? And he's now telling these people, or she's now telling these people that I'm done here. There's nothing else for us to do, nothing else we have in common because I'm working on myself. I'm working on my spiritual growth and my spiritual development and I'm 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 healing the sex addiction. Look, yes. And this person saying that they want to tell you no. I just heard no. This person wanted to tell you that they were sexually abused the last time you guys were together, but they didn't know how to tell you. And this person is saying that the reason why they were with this karmic partner that's not in the reverse because this person fed into these sex addictions and this person actually bought other parties in the bedroom, just anything to keep this person away from you, just to make sure that this person abandoned you. They was inviting your friends in the bedroom, anybody, people that they knew to try to fulfill this fantasy and this void from, for your person because your person was sexually abused and it turned to tell them having a sex addiction and being a player. But this person wants you to save a spot for them in their heart. But this person also feel guilty because they feel like you are their life partner. Okay, and this person feel like you are one of a kind. So they did want to tell you the reason why they 
kept on ghosting you and moving around. It's not about, it's not that they love these people. It wasn't that. It was the fact that they can have their way sexually with these people. And they didn't want to come off as you looking at them like, what the hell? If they always want to sex you up and bang your brains out and show you the real them, show you the real truth that they like to have sex all times of the day and all, all, all hours of the day to feed this addiction, you know? And this person didn't know how you would look at them like that. So they abandon you to go be a player and entertain third parties to feed the sex addiction, you guys. And that's the reason why Bishop is always on point. I love Bishop T.D. Jake so much. He's always on the money. This guy is wise. This man is wise. And, and we have so much in common. Like this man, we think alike. We think alike. I'm telling you guys, and um, he always give me the clarity that I need, always. And always wind up saying the same thing that I'm just, I'm saying, but in the way that he teach.